Hi, this is Jennifer with iCadenza, and I'm here with Boris Martinovich, a wonderful opera singer who just performed here tonight at Classical Underground. So tell me a little bit about what got you into opera and the aria you performed here tonight from Verdi's Don Carlos. Well, through some friends, they told me there's this incredible place uh, called Classical Underground. I said, well, it sounds very interesting. And I said, I said, I have to come and see it first before I accept it. And I, I did come, I drove all the way from Palm Springs to here and went back because I had to be back in the, in the evening. And I was really surprised uh, of the talent of Alexei as a, as a painter and as a person and a personality. <coughs> and most of all, uh, this evening being here uh, it inspired me to many different things. And hearing such uh, such variety of uh, different talents in, in in different brackets, you usually don't get to meet so many pianists, so many uh, the trumpet player, a guitarist, uh, a clarinetist from the LA Philharmonic. And uh, I started as a composer, and I was when I was a boy, I should say. I, I, I sometimes when they ask me when did you start music, I said I started late. I was only four, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but. I started composing, and tonight I had an inspiration to write a piece for a premiere here. So when I come back in October, sometime in the winter, I will, I will write a piece and we'll premiere it really here. Wow, how exciting. We're all looking forward to that. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little coffee. That's okay. Well, you have a busy travel schedule. Where are you off to next? You must have a lot of performances coming up. I do, and I, as a matter of fact, as soon as I, I get off the plane, uh, they were, we go into rehearsals. Uh, with a big band, and I'm rec I'm recording uh, uh, love songs around the world. It's called, mm -hmm. and they're uh, literally uh, taking places in different places of the world. Uh, starting uh, starting with uh, Broadway, then Hollywood, and then going to Italy and do all the Neapolitan songs, and uh, and then going to uh, jazz and New York and Orleans. And then going further south, uh, South America, do some Joe Beam songs, uh, Gershwin as well, of course, before that, and uh, a tango in Latin America and, and, and in many different languages. So the, the songs, and I'm very excited about doing this new album, which will be soon. That sounds wonderful. And immediately after that, I have a gala event in Monte Carlo for the film festival. And then I'm off to Portugal for Barbie of Seville, which will be in one of the big uh, theaters, 5,000 seats or new theater. And, and, uh, and it just goes on and on and on like this uh, for, for forever. And, and the Don Carlos is one of the greatest arias, which you, you ask is for the bass voice. It, it is no ultra plus uh, possible. Uh, as the piece uh, was written by Giuseppe Verdi as one of the masterpieces of, of arias of, of uh, loneliness and sadness, but it tears everybody into tears, and which is great. <laughs> <laughs> and that happened tonight. It was very dramatic and very powerful. Well, thank you. I, that's what I, I aim to hit hit the deep emotions of people, and mm -hmm. um, if you feel the f you know depth of feeling, and then the audience feels. The, the depth as well and that's that's where the level of performance is and that's why we do live performances to to have a memorable evenings. Mm -hmm. Do you have any anecdotes or stories about moments when you either someone in your life who was a great mentor or a piece of music or art that changed you? Well there are many 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 you know my dear friend Placid Domingo I worked quite a lot with him and many Many great things happened from from our meetings, which was like 20 years ago back, and in Luciano Pavarotti as well. I did the opening night with him in San Francisco Opera. Uh, but one of the actually most interesting uh, experiences was during the San Francisco Opera. My uh, uh, Schwarzkopf came to do a master class, and uh, they asked me to do some leader and some Strauss and things like this because she's doing all these leader things and and I didn't feel comfortable about it and and you know I, and during the master class I told her do you mind if I sing Mozart instead of Strauss? She said, of course, yes! 
And so I started singing Nozze di Figaro, and I did uh, Non più andrà, and then, then uh, Già ha vinto la causa, and I was, I was singing all the, all the Mozart uh, stuff, and she loved it, and she taught me some incredible things. She said, listen, I learned this from Bruno Walter, and I'm going to tell you this and that, and I never forgot those little things she told me then. And it, it stayed for the rest of my life. So a master class can be, to young artists, a very inspirational and a lifetime memories. Mm. So I, I try to do also master classes and help young people and hope to inspire them to become great singers in the future. May I ask, what did she say to you? What, what did you take away from that? Uh, well, a lot of, lot of things about, interp- for example, in Nozze di Figaro, uh, the, um, when you sing, uh, actually it repeats about four, four, four to eight times, actually, the line, which is, um, uh, and she said, never repeat it the same. You always have to do something different. And this is what Mozart wanted. This is what Bruno Walter told her. Although it's little nuances, for example, um, it's just, just making, it, making it your way and making it exciting and making something out of it so it's not boring. Uh, and Mozart is not a boring uh, composer at all because although the notes, are you always repeating the same notes, you should never do them the same. And that is a great thing to be creative. Mm-hmm. So you create yourself in your interpretation as doing it. So once you do it soft, then you do it more, then you do it more dramatic, then you then you do it. Non pietrai farfalloni amoroso. Non pietrai farfalloni amoroso. You do the same thing in such a different way mm-hmm. that makes it really exciting, and people love it because it, you you're expressing yourself and you're expressing what you really feel down deep inside, and that's where the music then comes alive. Mm-hmm. Instead of just singing the notes, ta 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 ta. Everybody can sing the notes, but that's that's the secret of interpretation: is do it your way mm-hmm. and make the audience feel. That, that emotion. And emotion is what I think matters so much. Mm-hmm. Having a wonderful career, singing amazing music with legends around the world, how has that changed you and shaped you into who you are? Well, quite a lot, because uh, you learn from those people, the great people, you learn a lot. And, uh, and uh, they are, of course, impossible to, to, um, uh, to imitate, but you have to create your own way and learning from there and how they interpret for example my great and and dear friend was Giuseppe Di Stefano and I learned a lot from him of course he sang so much with you know Carlos and and Maria had this explosion of energy and of course I think he rubbed off on him and then then something rubbed off on me so I I got a little bit of Carlos in me as well (laughs) especially the lunatic parts one of in a while (laughs) we didn't see that tonight (laughs) right (laughs) well thank you so much for speaking with me wonderful job tonight and we look forward to hearing about what you're doing next so thank you Thank you very much.